Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of project dissertations and implementation introduced by Technolytics, Tech IT Easy. In this video series, we are going to learn about how to complete project dissertation successfully. This video series is important for the students who are going to make their project in the UG or PG level, especially in the final year. Points which we had covered in the last video are project dissertation basics, abstract, survey of technologies requirement and analysis, conceptual models. We have learned how to create use case diagram and data flow diagram using the star UML. In today's video, I'm going to teach you concept about activity diagram and how we can draw an activity diagram using star UML. The points which we are going to cover in this video are definition of activity diagram, symbols used in it, sample activity diagrams, and how to draw activity diagram in star UML. Let's understand the definition of it. Activity diagrams are graphical representation of the stepwise activities and actions which support simultaneous activities, decisions, and merging activities Modeled can be sequential or concurrent. Now see, here we are going to create a graphical representation uh, of actions, okay, which are based on certain decisions. Actions may merge or uh, you can say may divide into multiple sub actions, okay. So these sub actions could be uh, simultaneously working actions or one by one based on certain decision. So all these sequence of activities we are going to represent. This is nothing but the graphical representation. Now symbols which we are going to use in activity diagram are number one, initial state. Whenever we want to start with an activity diagram, the filled circle is there. We have to use this, okay, uh, to start it. Next is activity or action state. So rounded rectangle is there, which we can use for certain action. Next is decision and branching. In most of the diagrams, we use diamond shape to denote decisions and branching. Here also we are going to do the same. And the final state, we are going to show it with filled circle nested another circle, okay? So this is how we are going to show the final state. These are the basic shapes. Other than this fork shape is there, okay, join shape is there, merge shape is there. So uh, we will be, uh, I'll be explaining it to you while drawing the diagrams, okay. So let's understand the sample activity diagram. This diagram is drawn for the admin, uh, uh, admin's login process and system initialization. So you all can see entity admin is there, the start symbol is there here one action is there enter username and password certain decision is there okay whether the username and password correct then yes if not correct then action will happen that is invalid login action and it will go back to the enter username and password action if the credentials are correct then successful login this action will happen after successful login, again, it is going, moving into the decision phase. So it is checking for the term status, whether term is created or not. If it is active, fine, it will stop the process. If it is inactive, that means term is not yet created. So it will initialize the term. So this action will happen. And at the end, both these things will end into the final stop process position. So you all can see we have used the symbol filled circle nested with the circle nested within the circle okay so these this is what one of the sample of an activity diagram that is admin login the another sample also i'll explain you this is for student registration and login activity so again the start symbol is there first action is enter registration details then decision is there if registration is already existing, okay? If existing, then 
redirect to login, it will automatically redirect to the login process. Login process in this next action is enter roll number. If roll number is valid, then it will give the it will give a message give a message as login success. So this action will happen. If the credentials are wrong or invalid, then invalid login action will happen and it will redirect back to the login asking for the login details. Okay. And uh, once the login is successful, it will end the process. So this is how we all can draw an activity diagram based on certain sequence of workflow. Now let's draw this activity diagram practically using star UML. So you all can see one activity diagram is already drawn. Let's see how to draw it. Simply from the model, you can get add diagram and you can add an activity diagram or else from our project right click, you can simply right click and you can add diagram and you can add activity diagram, okay? So I have already added activity diagram and here at the left and bottom side, I have received all the symbols used in activity diagram. So let's begin with the start symbol. So for start initial is there, I'll just click on it and I'll just click at the place where I want this. After that one action is there. So let's get one action. The action name is enter username and password okay so my action is ready after that one decision is there so you all can see one decision symbol is also available let's use this okay after decision then one again action is there so i'll just get this action over here invalid login One more action, if the login credentials are correct, then successful login. Okay. Um, again, one decision is there. So let's get one decision over here. If correct decision is there, then we need to stop it. So final symbol is there. Let's stop here. Okay. If term is not yet initialized, then let's get one another action that is initialized term. Okay. So almost all the actions and decisions and start and stop positions are ready. So let's connect all these things with the connector flow. So from start to first, just a moment, start to first action. I don't want to write anything over here. Then first action to decision. Here I will write correct credentials or credentials you can say login credentials then from this decision to successful login if credentials are proper or else invalid login if credentials are invalid okay if invalid, then it will go back. If successful login is there, it will go back to again the decision. Check term status. Okay. And then if term status is inactive, then it will initialize the term. If it is active, then it will definitely stop the term. So I guess I have drawn this diagram. So simply click on any of the control flow. 
okay and you can you know change the line styles so automatically it will make the diagram beautiful okay so just you can synchronize this diagram uh, with the proper flow okay and uh, then uh, your activity diagram is ready so here all the options are available here you can see fork is there join is there merge is there now what do you mean by these all symbols so basically a fork is used when multiple activities are occurring at the same time for example if a shopping mall is there there if you have ordered something okay so at the same time your order is getting filled okay and billing is also getting ready so all these both the activities are actions are happening simultaneously so there we can make use of the fork symbol a branch is basically used for the decision based activities certain action divides into like here you can see successful login is divided into two decisions that is initialize term or stop so this is what you can say the branch type of symbol then all branches at some point are followed by a merge so different different branches are there if you want to join them so you can make use of merge symbol and the last one after the merge all the parallel activities must be combined by a join okay before ending it to the final state so all these activities as and when you require you can make use of it so <clears throat> that is what i wanted to show you in this video that is activity diagram and uh, let's recap we have seen the definition of activity diagram the symbols used in activity diagram two samples i have shown you and practically also i have shown you uh, how to draw an activity diagram in star uml okay in the next video i am going to teach you entity relationship diagram that is er diagram so stay tuned and do subscribe our channel for more and more such practicals thank you so much for listening this video so carefully on behalf of team technologics i thank you everyone take care